Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be the five products under five dollars video. My favorite five products. And I kind of wanted to use stuff that I don't always use. I mean, you guys know that I love my airspun loose powder. That's around five dollars, things like that. I kind of just wanted to give a shout out to some products that I don't really use much on camera but I absolutely love and some of the products I have used on camera and you guys already know that I love them I just wanted to let you guys know that the lip color that I'm wearing is Marshmallow by Colourpop it's one of their new satin lipsticks I literally cannot put them down I have been wearing the satin lipsticks now I've had them for like two weeks now at least once a day every single day so anyway let's just get right into it the first product that I wanted to mention were these Essence lipsticks, and I have used these in a tutorial before or a couple tutorials. These are $3 and they are amazing. They're not like super long lasting because they're not a matte lipstick. I'm sure if they have matte lipsticks, they are pretty long lasting. They're more like a creamy, very sheeny finish, and I absolutely love, love, love them. My favorite one is number one, and it's called Wearing Only a Smile. It's super duper light. But it just looks so pretty. If you guys can see it there, it is literally like the perfect nude. It is a very light nude, but it has like sheen to it. And I just think it's beautiful. It just looks really, really nice on the lips. The next thing that I wanted to mention was a bronzer and you guys already know this bronzer because I literally use it in like 80% of my videos and I always tell you guys how much I love it. But this is the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer. I love this bronzer you guys. I can't tell you how much I love this bronzer. I love this bronzer over a lot of my high-end bronzers. It is such a beautiful color. It's supposed to be a duplicate for Hoola. I think that Hoola is more cool toned. I own Hoola. But this is a beautiful, beautiful uh, bronzer. It literally blends out super nice as if I have it on today. I don't have it on today. Um, It blends out really, really nice. Has a really nice color and it just makes the skin look flawless. This smooth skin line from NYC is absolutely incredible. I love the NYC smooth skin setting powder and I also love this bronzer. So I wish that they would come out with just a ton of stuff from this line because it really does smooth out the skin. The powder and everything, amazing, amazing product. And this, I believe, retails for $3, no, I think it's $4.99 or $3.99, around there. It's 5 bucks, nonetheless. It's amazing. And this one is in the shade Sunny, 720A Sunny. Next thing that I wanted to mention is actually such an old palette and I was actually looking through my collection and I love this palette and I used to use it a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot when I started doing YouTube. I haven't used it in a while but I would totally use it. I just wanted to give it a shout out. This is the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette. Now this has been hyped like ever since YouTube started. It is just a really great palette and it has really, really nice colors. Uh, you have really nice like neutral colors. They're all shimmery, but they're really nice. And then this color got a lot of hype for looking like MAC Blue Brown. But these eyeshadows are so buttery and so pigmented. Like it's incredible the pigmentation of these eyeshadows and they're so, so soft. Like, oh my God. Not only is this palette super inexpensive, but it got a lot of hype because it was such a pigmented palette. And I'll swatch them here for you. Like, look how buttery those eyeshadows are. And the pigmentation is just incredible. Look at how that blue-brown just, like, oh my god, it's absolutely beautiful. I don't know about the newer Wet n Wild palettes. I don't really buy Wet n Wild palettes anymore because I have so many of them and I never, ever use them. But I know that their old formulation was, like, really, really popular. I don't know if they've reformulated it or anything like that. But if you can still get your hands on this one, please do so. It is absolutely amazing. The next thing is also from Wet n Wild, and I love Wet n Wild makeup. They have incredible stuff. So I just wanted to mention these contouring palettes. I do have both of the colors. So the yellow toned one is called Dulce de Leche, and then you have Caramel Toffee, which is the pink toned one, and you can see the different tones. I adore these palettes, you guys. They are incredible, especially for going underneath the eyes after you set. 
Me personally, I like to, you know, do my foundation, do my concealer, and then I will put on a loose setting powder, like my airspun powder, and then when I'm done with my face, I always go in with a powder like this that's extra light, and then just tap right over top around this area right here because it brightens up the skin and just gives it a little extra oomph. I feel like after doing bronzing and highlighting and blush, sometimes this area tends to get faded. So just a little teeny touch up really, really works, and these are amazing to do so. They don't cake up, they're not heavy, they're not thick, they're really, really nice in color and tone. Uh, this one's really nice because it has a very cool tone bronzer, perfect for fair skin. And then it has a really nice pink highlight, which is good for warm tones if you want an extra highlight. And then this one has a really nice warmer tone bronzer. Um, it's a little bit lighter, which is weird. It's lighter than the pink one. But again, really, really nice. And they're super inexpensive. I believe that these were $4.99, if I'm not mistaken. So $5. And then the last thing that I wanted to mention is from e.l.f. This is their cream eyeliner. This one is the black one, and I have purchased these in, like, every single color. No, I have, like, two brown ones, and I have this black one, and then I have a backup black one. I love this eyeliner, you guys. I think it's very underrated. Nobody ever talks about it, but this eyeliner does not budge. Will not budge from your eyes. Will not smear. Will not smudge. Will not fade. This eyeliner is legit. I swear. And it's only $3. I like to use this especially in my waterline because I've never ever used a pencil in my waterline that doesn't fade or like smear or like bunch up in my inner corners and you gotta wipe it. This does not budge. I use it with an eyeliner brush and I literally just go into my waterline, right in my waterline, and it just stays. It stays the entire night, entire day, whatever. It's absolutely incredible and I swear these things don't get enough credit. So that is definitely amazing. So those are my five products, but there's always a twist. I wanted to mention two products because these are amazing as well, but I remember when I went to buy them, the lady told me that they were getting discontinued and I checked online and they don't have them online. You can find them like on Amazon and things like that, but they're no longer inexpensive. Like they're no longer uh, $3 the way they used to be. Now they're like $6 because of course discontinued stuff always goes up. But these are the e.l.f. Mineral Eyeshadows and I mentioned these, I think it was my birthday haul. These are amazing. They're $3, which kind of stinks. I think you can find other websites where they carry them. Maybe on eBay you can get like a bundle. These are incredible. They always discontinue the good stuff, I swear. But these are the e.l.f. Mineral Eyeshadows. And I got two colors, Natural and Elegant. And they are beautiful. Not only as an eyeshadow, but as a highlighter. I'll swatch one of them for you. This is it right here. And it serves beautifully as a highlighter or as an eyeshadow. And I have used them as both. It's a really nice multi-purpose product. And it's only $3. You cannot, cannot go wrong. I absolutely love that and I hope that you guys can get your hands on them. I think that they're worth mentioning. Even if it's $6, it's totally worth it. You have a little pot, basically a pigment, and it's eyeshadow and you can use it as a highlighter. You can use both as a highlighter. I have used both. They're really nice tones. So again, Elegant is the one I swatched and then Natural.